It is our first time in England, and this is our first time going to a Tesco. We're going grocery shopping in the UK. Got ourselves a little shopping cart. Hello. Now, we've actually popped into a couple very small, like a, a Sainsbury's and a m and in London. But um, this is our first time being in a, like an actual big grocery store. I guess you stopped at an Aldi to get us something to eat last night, but I haven't been in one. <laughs> I think we're gonna try to find something for breakfast here though with their little sandwiches and things. I feel like a lot of the drinks they have here are very similar, but someone had recommended us to try this and we have not tried it yet, so I'm gonna, gonna get myself a, a Lucozade. Yes, so yeah, I almost bought one at the convenience store the other day. We heard an announcement right after we walked in that um, we were here during quiet time but it's ending, which I didn't know that they do that, but they have like quiet times where you can come shop in, in peace if that's your thing that you need to do, so that's pretty neat. We are gonna check into an Airbnb in Cornwall for a few days, but we're still in Devon. We have like a, I think about like five hours of things we're gonna stop and do, so probably can't get any perishable items just yet. <laughs> But I do love that you can get even an alternative to Halloumi. We came around the corner and there's just a shelf of eggs. Not something I've ever seen before in the US. What? Just the eggs hanging out on a shelf. Because we do something to yeah, ours that do doesn't make that, them not shelf Yeah, anymore. they have to be refrigerated in the US. I think, I think that they have to, right? They I mean, do. they do have to. Probably because, yeah, probably That's because in the US we do like weird bad things that the UK would not allow. <laughs> Look at all these cakes. They have a Peppa Pig cake? Yeah. Where's yeah. that? <gasps> oh! So Sean sent us Mr. Kipling brand things and they were delicious and at Christmas and now I want to eat them all. <laughs> we have gotten some like Tesco cakes from him too. I think all of these like sweets like the puddings, the little cakes, everything looks really good. Ooh, rhubarb crumbles. That does sound good. Do you need a hot hood? I'm good. I am overwhelmed by the amount of choices of things that there are here. We've tried a lot of stuff, but there's a lot of Tesco branded specifically, like the sweets that look really good. I'm curious if you have any suggestions or favorites of things that we should try that are specifically Tesco branded or m and I mean, we're gonna go to one of those too. Yes, please. How many of these do you think I could reasonably fit in my suitcase? I've seen a lot about these, but I've never actually tried one. But I like that there's one called Bombay Bad Boy. Are you a Bombay Bad Boy? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're gonna try one of these. I mean, ADP, you, got, you can't go wrong, right? Oh, these containers are like not styrofoam, which no, is yeah probably better. Kind of too. Yeah, they're they're like they're chunky Bombay bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that several of you have suggested to us are something called Frey bentos. They have to be around here somewhere. I feel like they're in the same realm of like a canned thing that you heat up yourself. We gotta try those while we're here. I found them. Are these really the normal size? When I looked at pictures of them on the internet, I thought they were much smaller. That's a lot of beans. I think Branston baked beans are a brand that people have told us we should try. Should we get some Branston baked beans? No, it's okay. We'll just let Sean make us a full English. They have a Marmite that has chili in it called Dynamite. Whoa, interesting. What's this middle one? Oh, reduced salt. Whoa, Marmite crunchy peanut butter? I have never heard of such a thing. I don't know that I'd like to try it. <coughs> I'm guessing it's probably just peanut butter. You don't think it's Marmite flavored? I'm guessing not. I'm the guessing so. Not very big. Marmite crunchy peanut butter. Is it actually Marmite in a peanut butter? If you like Marmite, do you like that? Or is it a no? Should we not try it? I loved the Angel Delight. Ooh, butterscotch. Butterscotch. Okay, well maybe we'll have to try that sometime. 
I mean, I think your cereal aisle is smaller than ours in America, but we have a lot of the same cereals. Special K is a pretty big deal here, but we also have Special K in the US. I wonder if they're similar. They look like it. There's red berries. Ooh, hunger. I love red berries, yeah. We found even more goodies, and now the choices are even tougher. I'm very intrigued by Cadbury Dairy Milk Corn Flake Cluster Bites. Brownie bites. Oh, should we try the Tesco version? Let's try the Tesco version. Oh, they're the same price. Well, we'll try Cadbury version then. <laughs> Oh, I love What's It's. They have What's It's Giants. I don't think I'd like those. Ooh. Flaming Hot ones, though. That sounds kind of good. You know, we've tried some digestive biscuits, but there's a lot we haven't tried. However, the ones I picked out, they say they're a very important biscuit. They're caramel flavored, and I'm excited about that. Noticing we've tried a lot of flavors of a lot of crisps. We haven't tried the Kentucky Fried Chicken one, so <laughs> Jeremy grabbed us a bag. We, we've got a pretty good selection of, um, yeah, just like assorted junk food, basically. I think a lot of these are things we either try. Oh, I just laid eyes on my favorite of all. <laughs> yeah. Love those. Love those. But I think we're going to try... Honeycomb, Honeycomb Kit, Kit, Kat? Kit Kat? Yeah, we definitely don't have that in the US. I like how old-fashioned the Ritz are, and they're such a little box, too. Those are definitely packaged a lot different than they are over in America. Oh, Jason and Josh got us some of these. We'll have to try those still. Another thing I've noticed is that um, these seem to be a thing here. They're like the store brand. We do not have these in the U.S. And it's unfortunate because they're delicious. <laughs> Shall we check out the fizzy drinks? That's a very large bottle of Iron Brew. Bitter Shandy. What does that mean? Made with real British beer for a rich, refreshing taste. So it's like non-alcoholic beer? It's like fo Foster's? No, is Foster's the one that does that? Okay, so we have Capri Suns. I bet yours are way better just because they seem like it, especially because they come with in a flavor like black currant. Like the orange one seems like it's just straight up orange juice. Wonderful. Jeremy just found me a twisted strawberry diet coke. I am so excited to try this. We've tried a lot of uh, packaged goods while we were in America, but I think just because of like the shipping costs, we have not done drinks other than what we could find in the US. I'm so excited because there are so many drink choices, but I think we need some help. Like what should we get? Like, our friends Jason and Josh told us we should try Tango, but what flavor? There's four flavors here. <laughs> I think we should try one of these too, but I don't know what flavor to get of these. Should we try Summer Fruits or Citrus Punch? How about Summer Fruits? Zero. Or do you want to try regular Summer Fruits? We'll try Summer Fruits. We found the frozen section and there's, there's Ben and Jerry's flavors we've never seen before. There's a sign up here for frozen lollies and I, I don't even, oh, now it makes sense. <laughs> now it makes sense. <laughs> I knew that uh, a lolly was what we call a lot a sucker or I guess we also refer to them as a lollipop but I did not realize that frozen lollies were what we call popsicles. <laughs> I was like, what is a frozen lolly? Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna have to try some of these before we leave. I don't think we have those either. Uh, we have the weird slice things. We've gotten those before, oh. but not on a stick. Oh, getting Ben and Jerry stuff we don't have, huh? <gasps> Look what else we're gonna have to get before we go, before we leave. Look at just the normal Tesco brand. It looks so fancy. Look at that. It looks delicious. I want to try every one of these flavors. They look amazing. Baked Alaska Ben and Jerry's. Cookie for a monster? I haven't heard of that either. Cadbury has their hands in everything, don't they? Like, if it's a product that they can put chocolate in it, Cadbury's done it. Remember Vianetta? No. Oh, that was like a fancy treat when I was a kid. I don't I remember like that. we don't have them anymore. There's a birthday cake flavor. We're definitely gonna have to come back to uh, get some frozen goods when we are closer to our Airbnb. Well, I think 
other than like cleaning products and household goods, we've pretty much covered the market. I think we've got a, quite the selection of stuff to try. Mostly not healthy things. <laughs> we have sandwiches for breakfast though. <laughs> we got a couple bags of stuff. We'll have to try these in a future video, so stay tuned for that. But that was uh, our first experience shopping at a Tesco. There are other places that we should check out, let us know. I, I know we have to check out a full proper M&S at some point. And uh, you'll have to let us know if you have any suggestions for any store specific things that we should try. But thanks for coming along with us and we'll see you soon.